Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. My name is Teresa. Happy New Year everybody and I hope everybody so far is having a great 2023. We are currently in the process of taking down some of the Christmas decorations and we are decorating our home for the winter season. I'm going to bring y'all along as I make some really easy and budget-friendly decor pieces for my home that I'm going to style during the winter. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I hope you get lots of inspiration and ideas for your home. The first decor piece I'm going to show you is something that I got at Goodwill a couple of weeks ago. I did my previous video and I showed some of these items where I upcycled them. And I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one and also down below in the description. But I upcycled some of these items and some of them I'm going to show you today how we can style these and turn these into some really pretty winter budget-friendly decor. Now this is a little rustic rattan wicker. It's like a little lantern and a lot of times you'll put these outdoors. And I do have one of these on my front porch currently. But you can bring these in, take out the little glass jar and add some greenery and some LED pillar candles and this makes a great piece that you can set out for the winter season. Another great element for the winter season is dough bowls. Now I purchased this one at a thrift store and I paid $3.99 for it. Now it's black and I have enjoyed it this color, but now I'm going to use some milk paint on this. And I don't know if you've ever used milk paint, but I love using it. But I'm just learning. So if you have any, um, any ideas and tips for me on how to use milk paint, please leave them down below in the comments because like I say, I'm just learning how to make, make it and use it and the textures that it sticks to the best because there's some woods and some bases that it don't, you know, work as well on. But, you know, I'm experimenting as I go and I'm having fun with it. But basically, it's just one part of the milk paint powder with one part water. To cover this, I think I did two tablespoons of the powder and two tablespoons of the water, and I just mix it up, and then you just want to put it on in layers. I do one layer, and I let it dry, and I usually use my blow dryer because heat really makes the milk paint chip, and then I did the bottom. Now, I just let this dry, and then I went back over it with another layer, and then you'll get some really good chippy paint. Now you can see how well this chips off. It will chip off actually just running your fingers across it. That's how well it chips. And this bowl did really well. But you can also get a sanding block or a piece of fine grit sandpaper and run over it also. Now you can get the desired chippiness that you want and then you'll want to go over it and seal it with a top sealer. Usually I use DIY liquid patina, but you can use any top sealer that you prefer. Now I just filled my dough bowl with some beaded garland, some really pretty wintry greenery, and if this is still available, I will have a link to this down below, and just of course a hot cocoa sign. Just fill your dough bowl with things that are the winter theme, and now you've got a great piece that we can set out, and then when spring rolls around, we can replace the items and put some spring additions to this. While I've got my milk paint out, and that's the thing about milk paint, once you mix it up, you have to use it. You cannot store it. So while I've got some left over, I'm going to use it on this little wooden spool. This is a spool of ribbon that I purchased at TJ Maxx during Christmas. I used up the ribbon, and it's got a great little wooden base. Now, I put the milk paint on it. I did the same process. I put it on in layers, and I used my blow, dry, my blow dryer to heat it up, and it'll start crackling right before your eyes. I took my sanding block, I went over it, and I distressed it. Now I've got a great little piece that I can add some pillar candles to and some winter greenery, and this will make a great little chippy piece that I can set out just to add a little bit of that rustic, woodsy element to my winter vignettes.
Another little piece that I had that worked really well with the milk paint was another little dough bowl. In Dollar General, a lot of times will carry different sizes of these. I picked this one up back in the fall and it was $6. Now I'm just going to put my milk paint on it, the same process. I'm just going to put a couple of coats, you know, let it dry. Use your blow dryer or a heat gun and heat it up. And once it dries, just go over it with a sanding block. And then you've got a great little distress piece that you can add little trinkets too and little vintage items. And I think this is a great piece to set out. And it adds just another little rustic um, detail to your vignettes. Another really easy winter project to do is just upcycle some frames. Maybe some frames that you had some Christmas designs in, maybe take those out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chalk paint both my frames and I'm just using Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint and I'll put a couple of coats on them. I'm not going to distress them. Now these frames I picked up at a yard sale and one of my friends, her husband has a cabinet shop. So these frames came with a wood back. But I ordered these downloads from Etsy, and I'll have these linked down below, and you can print these out in different sizes. I uh, used Walgreens, but I just sent to Walgreens in order for these to be blown up to, by, to 11 by 14. They printed them out, and they mailed them to my home. So just an easy way to get some downloads from Etsy. They're very affordable and get them blown up bigger. So now these are 11 by 14 and I'm just going to place these using some school glue on the back of that frame. And like I say, just depending on what kind of frame you use, you may not have a back like this, but you can always use poster board, uh, foam board from Dollar Tree like I do in a lot of my videos to make a back for your design. But now look how pretty this is and I think this just really screams winter. Now before I show you it staged, I'm going to show you another one that I purchased. Both of these were really pretty winter scenes, but they have a huge selection on Etsy to choose from, but I love these. So now I'm just going to go around, and this is the way I cut mine down to size to my frame, is I just use my Cricut uh, cutter, and this gives you some really straight um, edges, because if you use the scissors, if you're like me, I'm going to go and get it all crooked, and it's not going to fit correctly. So always, if you have a straight edge cutter, and you can a lot of times, if you don't have one by Cricut, you can a lot of times pick these up, I think at Hobby Lobby, but they are a great little tool to have in your craft supplies. And again, using some school glue in my brayer, I just applied it to the back of my frame, and I just smooth it out really well. And now I've got two really inexpensive winter graphics that I can set out and display in my home for the winter season. Before I show you that other frame piece styled, I want to show you this ribbon that I recently purchased from Amazon. I'm going to have it linked in my store. It's got those really nice little wooden spools. So I just wanted to show this to you because I have reordered it and I use it now on a lot of my projects. So this is a really good little ragged little ribbon. So I just wanted to show this to you in case you're interested and need some good ribbon for the winter season. The next project is going to be another thrifted frame, and I'm going to give you another idea of how you can upcycle a very inexpensive frame. Take whatever frame that you have, this one I think I picked up at a yard sale, and this is a graphic off the Graphics Fairy. Y'all, they have several really pretty little winter scenes also, but I love ice skates, especially for the winter time. So I printed it out on a piece of glossy paper. I'm going to take the little plexiglass out of my frame, but I am going to use the back. 
and I'm just going to use some school glue. I'm going to apply my graphic to it, and that's all I'm going to do. And y'all know I always use my brayer when I'm applying graphics to a background. That way it just smooths it out really well, and you know it adheres to your base really good. So I'm just going to go over it with my brayer. And now, this was a free download. Like I say, I will leave a link to it down in the description box, but it was at the, you know, on the Graphics Fairy website. Y'all know I love their website. You can go out and just search their website for hours. They have tons of different kinds of graphics that you can use for your projects. Now, I'm going to show you here the frame just as it is, but I'm going to show you another idea of something you can do if you've got a really wide border around a frame. You can add a transfer to it. You could also use your stamps if you wanted to. You could also put a clay mold on it just to add a little bit more detail to your frame. This is a scrap transfer piece that I had left over from a transfer, and I'm not sure which transfer book this come out of, and I apologize, but I thought it was kind of winter themed, so I'm just going to take it and piece it on to my frame the way it'll fit the best and transfer it on. Now, I'm just giving y'all, like I say, another idea of how you can kind of add a little bit more detail to your graphics and your thrifted frames. Hey y'all, are we having fun yet? I know I am. I love working on winter projects because we're all kind of stuck in the house because the weather is so cold. So I really enjoy having something to do inside. I'm going to upcycle these two little jars that I got at the thrift store. They were $1.99 each and I'm going to apply some transfers to them. These are some new transfers I just received and I'm going to have an affiliate link down below. Y'all, these are absolutely beautiful. I love the blues. So there's so many things that we're going to use these on. These are going to be great for upcoming projects. But I thought these little jars that I got at the thrift store would be perfect. You could also take some mason jars and spray paint them or paint them and get the same effect. Now I'm just taking pieces that I felt like would fit on the um, jars and I just kind of cut them down to size where I needed to. And that's the thing about transfers. You can cut them out and even if you need to cut them down a little bit, you can. So I'm just gonna apply those to my jars, make sure they adhere really well. And now we've got some really pretty little French country little jars that we can put little things in and set these out for the winter season. And these will go through just about any season. Okay, y'all, we are at the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed seeing some, some things that I made for my home for the winter season. Just showing you some products that I love to use, milk paint and transfers. I'm gonna have links to all these products down below in my description box. But I, like I say, I hope all of y'all are having a great new year so far. Here's to 2023. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I love y'all, and I will plan God willing to see y'all in my next video this new year, and let's get it off to a great start. Love y'all. I hope y'all have a great week, and again, Happy New Year, everybody.